So what do you think happens to a vector if you multiply it by zero? Well, you've probably guessed it. It becomes the zero vector. So the zero vector is defined as a directionless vector of zero length. So look at the components here. Now it, it has an x component of zero, a y component of zero, and I jumped the gun a little bit. That k hat component that you see there, that corresponds to a third dimension in space, in this case the z-axis. So, so here we're saying the zero vector has all of its component equal components equal to zero. And it truly represents a mathematical dot or point in space located right at the origin of your coordinate system. And again, the purpose of the zero vector is it's going to allow us to do algebra with vectors.